Now we're in North Singapore, Northeast Singapore, and this is just looking at the HDB flats, which are housing development board flats, which are very cheap. How, about, how cheap are they, Jock? They're like a few... Oh, I think these are not so cheap, because the, more, the, the, the newer ones are more expensive. Oh, new ones more expensive, but they're... A few hundred thousand dollars. A few hundred thousand dollars, I which is about a hundred thousand pounds, so... But people get special deals, and um, so that everyone has a place to live. Are you going to feature this, this place here? Which one? Yeah, and there's a... They have little communal spaces. Oh, wakes and... And they have weddings and wakes weddings and all and kinds of things. Yeah. But you've got to book them, and then there are the flats. Do you notice that they're, they're really more, nice? More and more like private apartments. Oh, in Singapore. Yeah. But they've got these lovely gardens, you know, and it's when you think of flats in the UK, sometimes they're a little bit, you know, some of them are lovely, but some of them are a little bit grotty. But in Singapore, they're really well maintained, you know, they're, they're kind of. Um, Alocasia. Oh, there's Alocasia. This... I mean, is it often due to cheap labour, though, Jock? Um, it's often due to sort of people from the Indian subcontinent yes. being brought in and they're they pay quite well in Singapore for Indian standards, you know, so they can go back and they're quite wealthy, but they have to pay agents in, in India huge great amounts of money in order just to come here. Just, but yeah. but sometimes the reason it's so neat and lovely is because of these workers. They're not paid much um, according to our local standards. But according to, yeah, so that's a kind of, sometimes maybe that's a bit of a reason it's so lovely. It's a bit ironic. When, when, they, when they go home, they've got more purchasing power than I have here. Exactly. So when they go home, they've got more purchasing power, Jock was saying, than he has. But I mean, I think the choice of planting, I mean, the fact it's tropical helps, you know, because in England, so m many, t many, um, what am I trying to say, many, in the winter in England, you can't sort of go out and congregate so much outside because it's too it's too cold so but that's he that's nice oh yeah they've got a lovely flower but here it's kind of you know obviously the tropical heat means windows can be opened all the time you know 24 7 and everyone there's a little kiddies playground and then you could just sort of you know congregate it makes it much much easier that's lovely isn't it i wonder if it's got a, i can't reach no, it hasn't got a scent, but it's really, you know, the planting's lovely. And they've got palm trees and trees everywhere, and it's just absolutely wonderful. National Day's coming up, so there's a Singapore flag. So it's absolutely wonderful. That's the HTB um, kind of culture, really. And that's how a lot of people in Singapore, most people in Singapore live. Oh, and it's the Hungry Ghost Festival where it said the the gates of hell are open, the spirits from the underworld, not hell really, that's very Christian, isn't it? The underworld visit the... the um, it's like a holiday for them. Right? It's like a holiday for them. They come to the earth. These are the, the stray ghosts. And they're kind of stray ghosts because they haven't got families who sort of honour them. They're sort of lost yes. souls. They don't have altars. Or they don't have altars. No. And they don't, they're not, yeah, in the temples and things. So yeah. people make these offerings of food and they light incense and they give them these things called hell money so they can spend you there. see so here's hell money hell banknote and that's is that how much is that yeah, million dollars. is it 50 million oh yeah am i counting the yeah 50 million dollars in hell money and they burn them and then the souls can go on a spending spree and have fun they're supposed to be like a go in but yeah and then also they have um Food. Yeah, they burn things like DVD players and all sorts of things like that. You know, so it's a tradition, you know, which one has respect for. It can get a bit annoying sometimes because the incense drifts up and comes through the windows. Pollution. Which, with pollution can annoy people. Do you remember the bicycle rack? Oh, yeah, they've got a lovely bicycle rack as well. There's a bicycle rack. You know, very, very, very sensible and practical society is Singapore. You know. Anyway, if I... I've blabbered on for enough, have I? There's more. And that's just wonderful. So that's four minutes, so... A little whirlwind tour of Singapore HDB flats.